fighting attacks from creatures from all over the universe. You need to be ready for whatever happens out there. <laughs> when will I be ready? When you can beat me. Hank Henshaw oh, or John Jones or whatever you want to call him gave me a home. Did you know that Hank Henshaw was an alien? No. Well, congratulations, Agent Danvers. The only thing you're guilty of is being duped by the very creature you were meant to be hunting. She's lying. He told you he tried to rescue your father. He told you he's protecting you. He made you believe he was the father you lost. And now you're under arrest. Where is she going? Uh, same place I'm taking your little green friend. Project Cadmus. Cadmus? That's not a good thing. What is Project Cadmus? Uh, a lot of bad stuff. What is Project Cadmus? Where did they take Alex and Hank? Some place called Project Cadmus? Which I'm guessing isn't an all-inclusive resort. No, it's the reason that Clark won't work with the government. Okay, so if, if the DEO is a prison, then Cadmus is a dissection lab. There's something you need to know. Why would I help you? You and, and Hank? Why do you all lie? Because when you are an they alien, want a normal life. They want to protect you've the people lost they love. your world. You're dropped into a new one. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Who's the new girl? Foster kids. Alex Foster Danvers' parents took her in. I'd hate my parents if they did that to me. Totally. Stranger living. Stop, everyone's staring at you. I'm sorry, we didn't have birds on my plane. Don't say that stuff out loud. What is wrong with you? Already saving people. Kara! What are you doing? Alex! Alex had to get some stitches, but she's gonna be okay. Listen. Doing what you can do. She got the scar or something that But it's not before. safe. John? I know you were only trying to help, but the world already has a Superman. Superman All you need to be to help. is Kara Danvers. Frames are lined with lead. They'll suppress your vision, help you fit in. They'll make your uh. life easier. I, I'm, my name's Wynn. Shop Junior. Oh, I fell in love straight away. You are Kara Danvers. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. That's uh, <laughs> quite a firm handshake you oh. got going on there. Hey. <laughs> Interview, what job? Assistant to Cat Grant. Oh. Does, does her current assistant know that she's... Uh, she knows. My 1015, tell me why you're so special. I'm not special. I'm not special. There is absolutely nothing special about me. I am totally, completely, 100% normal. Yes, you are. Absolutely. But I am extremely committed. I care. I am a hard worker. I just want to help. Mm, that's refreshing. I just want to be useful to somebody. I want to be worthwhile. And you're not worthwhile? Well, I haven't done anything to prove it. Yet. When you are an alien, you are willing to sacrifice anything, everything. Betray your fundamental instincts. Just to fit in, to belong somewhere, to find your place in this world. If you go along with Jim Harper, just to feel like you fit in, to feel like you belong somewhere, ultimately, the only person you're betraying is yourself. It wasn't easy for me to show you who I really am, but I did it because I trust who you are, who you really are.
fugitive now. I'm on the run. Well, uh, let me take you to the Fortress of Solitude where you'll be safe. Let me find Jeremiah. Kara, I have to do this. Hey, have faith in me, like I have in you. Kira has been a tremendous assistant, as I'm sure you observed during your brief time here. Who could have ever thought that underneath that prim little sweater set was a simmering cauldron of rage just waiting to boil over? I don't understand. Mm. She sent me an email. I analyzed the typing speed and patterns on the hard drive. It didn't match Kara's, but it did match yours. I don't have very many regrets, Siobhan, but I do regret firing you the first time. I wish to God that I could fire you again with feeling. Miss Grant, I can explain. Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're an idiot. Save it for the police. Get out of my <laughs> office and never come back. <laughs> that was like such a 12 year old move. Like, so childish. Uh, Ma'am, Colonel Harper just resigned and named a new acting director of the DEO. Who? You. Why? What the fuck? Are you sure? Yes, he was quite adamant about your appointment. Of everyone? Oh, I Why guess Sean's the fuck good at that whole mind control thing. Sorry, what'd you expect me to do? I don't know. Not rat me out to freaking Cat Grant. You, well, well you don't lied, be a survived, fucking child. Okay? And you committed mail fraud or email fraud, which is yeah. potentially like a federal crime. I have nothing. No job. No friends. Just, I just want to scream! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that was Supergirl season one, episode 17, titled Manhunter. Uh, we learned a couple of things, um, you know, mostly that uh, the daddy's alive, um, they're now on the run, and for some reason, Lucy is now in charge of the DEO. I'm guessing because Jean, like, kind of was like, make this happen. Kind of compelled him to do it, I guess. Um, but, like, of everyone, why her? I don't know. She just seems like a very, um, she doesn't really seem like a character. She just kind of seems like a placeholder character that could be anyone. I don't know, there's just nothing to her that makes me go, oh, character. Is she anyone's favourite character? I want to know. And I want to know why. Tell me why you like her. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, it was nice to have all the flashbacks in this episode, to be honest. It was good to get some more, like, context behind a lot of things. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh.